Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. This is Mehru Nasa Shapla welcoming you to my uh, today's class. <coughs> Today I am again with the students of honors fourth year. And uh, you know, I took uh, one class uh, on task based language teaching. Um, today I am going to start the class with a new topic as usual. But before starting the class, I am going to uh, ask you three questions that is, uh, the, the very first question is uh, what do you mean by reading and uh, why do you read? I know many of you will say that uh, reading is just to read out a text and we read to pass the examination. And my third question is um, how did you learn uh, reading? I know uh, you, you might say that um, my teachers taught me how to read uh, in my KG school or my parents helped me at home um, when I was the beginner. But my point is that reading is not just to read out a text and there, it doesn't have only one aim that is we read to pass the examination. So, uh, uh, you know, reading is, a, uh, is an activity with many purposes. For example, a person may read to obtain information or um, uh, to verify his or her existing knowledge. Or a person may read to criticize a writer's writing style or ideas. Or a person may read to uh, read for pleasure or to enhance his knowledge of the language that, that being read. So, dear students, you must keep in mind that reading is a process, it's a skill, and this skill must be developed. Okay, uh, dear students, let's start the class uh, with a, um, you know, with a PowerPoint presentation as usual. So, uh, uh, dear students, in this uh, slide, I will uh, show you the topic. The class is for the honors fourth year students. Uh, the course is Approaches and Methods of ELT. The topic is Teaching Reading. And what is reading, purposes of reading, types of reading, stages of reading, strategies, principles, theoretical aspects. These will be discussed uh, in the next slides. Okay, in this slide, in brief, I will discuss about reading and reading skill. Reading is the process of looking at a series of written symbols and getting meaning from them. Reading is a skill and it's a receptive skill. Reading skill is the ability of an individu individual to read, comprehend, that means understanding and interpret written words. Uh, what are the reading materials or what do we read naturally? That is non-fiction, that is reports, editorials, essays, journals, fiction, that is novels, short stories, jokes, drama, poetry, letters, it may be personal or business, greeting cards, diaries, theses, textbooks, forms and application and so on. And now I'm going to talk about the purposes of reading that is uh, Williams 1984 uh, mentioned three purposes that is getting general information from a text, getting specific information from a text and for pleasure or interest. And Rivers and Temperley 1978 listed the purposes of ill to learners reading. These are to obtain information on some topic to obtain instructions to perform a task, to keep in touch with friends to pay correspondence or through business letters, uh, to know when and where something will take place, to know what is happening or has happened around the world, and for enjoyment. Now I'm going to talk about the types of reading. The first one is intensive reading. Intensive reading involves learners reading in detail with specific learning aims and tasks. So. Uh, in, in this stage, learners must have specific learning aims with tasks and it provides a basis for explaining difficulties in structures for extending knowledge of vocabulary and idioms. The features are it is usually classroom based, reader is intensely involved in looking inside text, students focuses on grammar and discourse markers, discourse means spoken or written communication and discourse, the function of discourse markers is to organize a discourse into segments, sometimes we in speaking, uh, sometimes we say well like I mean by the way these are called discourse markers and texts are read carefully and thoroughly. 
The next category is extensive reading. It is a way of language learning, including foreign language learning, to large amount of reading. It means rapidly reading book after book. This point is taken from Harold Palmer, and it allows students to meet the language in its natural context. It builds vocabulary, it builds confidence, motivation, enjoyment, and a love of reading. The third uh, and the characteristics of extensive reading are students read as much as possible a variety of materials on a range of topics is available students can select what they want to read uh, the purpose of reading is for pleasure information and general understanding reading is individual and silent and the teacher is a role, role model for of a reader and there is a table for you. This table shows you uh, the differences between intensive and uh, uh, extensive reading. Intensive reading focuses on vocabulary and grammar to understand and it focuses on getting the main ideas and filling in the details. Intensive here uh, we find word for word reading and in extensive reading fluent reading is, is a must. Uh, intensive reading reading is very slow and here reading is fast. And we need 100% understanding in intensive reading and we need overall understanding in extensive reading. Here limited reading is needed, here reading a lot is a must. Here texts are difficult, here texts are easy, uh, dictionaries are used by the learners and here learners should guess unknown words without using dictionary. And texts are short and here texts are long. The third category is, uh, it is a quick reading, that is scanning. Scanning is a quick reading. Uh, that it focuses on locating specific information. Sometimes we need or we require some information uh, such as a name, date, symbol, formula or phrases from the text. And, uh, and uh, then uh, there is another category that is skimming. Skimming is a reading of, for, for essential meaning. It is a quick reading. It is also a quick reading. It is a quick reading to know the general meaning of a passage or general idea of a passage to know how the passage is, or is organized that is the structure of the text and to get an idea of the intention of the writer and skimming is more complex than the scanning the fifth category is free reading and guided reading. In free reading, students read uh, freely according to their own choice and in guided reading, students read under the guidance of an instructor. Uh, the critical reading means that a reader applies certain processes, models, questions and theories to clarify and comprehend any text. Okay, now uh, in this slide, uh, I'm going to talk about stages of reading. There are three stages. The first one is pre-reading. Pre-reading is the initial level of reading. Before reading the text, students have to think over the text and predict the content. That means uh, before reading the text, students are asked to think over the te text or uh, they should predict uh, what should be the content or what should be the subject matter of the text. And there are two types of pre-reading activities. One is brainstorming and the, another one is skimming. Brainstorming means before reading the text, students are asked to, uh, asked to um, uh, asked about uh, what they know about the topic of the text and share their knowledge in the native language or target language. And the next stage is in reading. Students read the text in this stage, uh, they actively engage themselves in the cognitive processes. Cognitive processes means learning processes. For example, students are uh, reading a uh, fiction. Um, while they are reading, they can understand uh, whether the fiction uh, is a mystery or a detective story or a love story. And rereading a stage, uh, the learners are encouraged to engage in active a, a LT production such as verbal or written analysis or argumentation. Verbal means speaking. Okay, now I'm going to talk about the very important uh, 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 topic that is strategies of reading. Uh, I mentioned, I have mentioned five uh, strategies that is previewing, predicting, skimming and scanning. Uh, gazing from the text and paraphrasing. Though, so the first one is previewing. Previewing means reviewing titles, 
so a section heading photo captions to get sense of the content of a reading selection that means teacher uh, teachers should um, ask the students to review the titles section heading or photo captions that is that that are given uh, above the text uh, to get sense of the content of re reading selection and predicting uh, using uh, it means using knowledge of the subject matter to make predictions about content vocabulary using knowledge of text type to predict about the writing style writing styles skimming and scanning you know uh, i have discussed in the earlier slide uh, it, um, using quick survey of the text to get the main idea uh, identifying text structure confirm predictions and guessing from the text in this in this uh, strategy learners uh, do not use dictionary they they should use their prior knowledge of the subject and ideas in the text as close to the meaning of uh, um, of unknown words without dictionary and paraphrasing the fifth strategy is paraphrasing it means restating the information and ideas by the student's own effort okay there are some strategies that are taken by the student that is before reading uh, there are three steps before reading during reading after reading in before reading uh, students set a purpose in advance what to read for they take a decision if more background is uh, knowledge is needed determine whether to enter the text from the top down or from the bottom up during reading they verify predictions and check for inaccurate cases they take decision what is what is and what is not important to understand they reread to check in comprehension and they ask for help and after reading is the session for evaluation that is student will evaluate comprehension in a particular task or area and they will evaluate overall progress in reading the strategies there are some strategies that is modeling time allocation using close exercises encouraging okay now <clears throat> for reading practice grab and grape and stoller grape and stoller 2011 suggest the following strategies the first one is uh, specifying a purpose of reading the so to the teacher first uh, mm, uh, specify the purpose then they plan what steps uh, to take then they preview the text after previewing they ask the student to predict the contents of the text and they must check predictions and after that they ask some questions about the text and they must uh, check the answers of the questions and then they connect text to the background knowledge summarizing then they summarize information and making inferences and uh, the next step is rereading uh, after that they uh, the student uh, should uh, should be asked to guess the meaning of unknown words um, you, they uh, they should use these course markers check they should check comprehension identify difficulties critic the author critic the text and after that this is very important reflecting on what has been learned from the text okay uh, so now I'm going to talk about the principles of the of teaching reading skills. Number one is construct constructing the reading activity by the teacher around a purpose that has significance for the students. So the structure should be significant for the reading activity, and they should define the activity's instructional goal and the ap uh, appropriate type of response. Number three, checking the level of difficulty of the text. For example, teacher uh, should think that how is the information organized, or how familiar are the students with topic with the topic. They should match in reading activities to the purpose put with the purpose for reading. Brown, two thousand one, mentioned some principles. For example, using techniques for motivating students. Uh, so, so teacher must uh, use some techniques, important techniques to motivate students. They should follow the SQ3R sequence that is survey, question, 3R means read, recite and review. They should encourage the students uh, for the development of, of, the, of, the, of the reading skill. And the next one is including bottom up and top down techniques. I will discuss about bottom up and top down techniques in the next slide okay the last topic is theoretical aspects or approaches of reading 
Uh, there are some theories or theoretical aspects for reading uh, skills, uh, teaching reading skills. That is, uh, the first one is interactive theory. You know, in the language classroom, interaction is very important. Interactive theory it focuses on interaction. It is based on two concepts. Number one is uh, cognitive, two types of cognitive skills, that is identification and interpretation. And uh, number two is interactive reading. Interactive reading means interaction between the reader and the text. And the second theory is bottom-up theory. This is a phonic approach. It may be presented in the following flowchart. Uh, this chart is taken from Cumber 1979 that is print the first one is print every letter discriminated phonemes and graphemes matched blending pronunciation and meaning so uh, according to this approach um, according to this approach students uh, first look at the print or uh, they look at the right right uh, written symbols they can identify the letters and they can uh, uh, identify the phonemes and the graphemes. Phonemes means sound and graphemes the figure of the letter. And they should match phonemes and graphemes together. And after that, uh, these phonemes are blended together to, the, uh, to, to form words. To form words. And uh, after that, they pronounce the words and they can derive the meaning from the piece of text. Okay. In the top-down approach, the top in the top-down approach, uh, you know, the first uh, we we know we should know about top-down approach. It means it is this is called this is called psychological approach. It moves through opposite direction that the, that is the text to sound. Cumber nineteen seventy nine provides the following flowchart that is past experience, language intuition, and experience. Then selective aspects of print. After that means uh, uh, the very first hand, the learner must have past experience, language intuition and experience. And after that, uh, selective aspects of print, then meaning and, and after that, the, the, <coughs> last, <coughs> the last point is sound and pronunciation. So here readers bring to this interaction their knowledge of the subject at hand then knowledge of uh, la uh, how language works and expectations about how language works then motivation interest and attitudes toward the content of the text okay next theory is frame theory and schema theory Fra in frame frame theory uh, suggests the human that human uh, memory uh, consists of sets of stereotypical situation of frame frames uh, it should guide uh, comprehension by providing a framework for making sense of new experience. By this theory, reading comprehension is dictated by the situation. And Pearson and Johnson 1978 said that this is a process of relating the, relating the unknown to the known. And the schema theory suggests that knowledge we carry around our head is organized into interrelated patterns. These are constructed from our previous experience and guide us to make sense of our new experience. And this is called assimilation. You know, previous experience and new knowledge uh, will make new learning. So new learning when uh, happens when previous experience and new knowledge are blended together or are massed together. Okay, so these uh, are all. Th these are all about uh, teaching reading skills. Apart from this skill, there is another approach that is called holistic approach. From this uh, perspective, or uh, uh, from the holistic uh, uh, perspective, reading reading uh, relates to uh, speaking, uh, listening comprehension, and uh, uh, culture. Okay, so uh, dear students, I want to say that just go through the books that you have at your home and uh, read just uh, just read all these uh, all these points that I have uh, discussed today. So, uh, uh, dear students, uh, I'll stop today. Mm, uh, I want to say that uh, just uh, stay at home. Don't go outside. 
and stop shopping uh, okay and uh, uh, be safe mm, and uh, uh, and you know stay fine so uh, I, I, in the next class i will come with uh, a new topic um, thank you until then allah hafiz